Alrighty, today's workout is gonna be all focusing on the back of the arms and into that back area. So if you're wanting just to sculpt and tighten that area, this is gonna be a great one for you. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Today I'm gonna to be using some bands, the long bands, and as well some weights. So I will show you either or depending on what you have at home. Um, personally, what I like to start off with is bands at the very beginning of my workout. Usually like a level one band is a great one just to get the, nice, the body nice and warmed up. So, we wanna start with a low row. So I'm just gonna place one foot in between the doubled band. And then I'm just gonna uh, keep it low. So I'm just gonna bring the band back to my hips and then release. So you're just gonna be squeezing that back by making sure that your elbows are locked back and you're not like this. You're just squeezing everything back, okay? So here we go. Great job. Next one, you can go ahead and just kneel onto that band. Bring the band up overhead and you can do your tricep extensions like this or you can even just have dumbbells in your hands or barbell, either one works. So just have a nice um, open chest, big chest, uh, tight core and we're just gonna go lower up and down. Now this particular exercise, you can either be kneeling, you can be standing, you can be seated. It really honestly depends on you personally, whatever feels comfortable for you. I'm personally just trying to stay in the camera frame. <laughs> All right, so no big deal there. So nice, good extension. You want a nice, good stretch, and then squeeze as you come up. Now you should be feeling that in the back of the arms. A common mistake is I see that a lot of the elbows are flailing out here. So just keep those elbows pulled in and you'll have the correct form. Good, the next one we're gonna go into is a high row. So I just take the bands like this and then you're just gonna squeeze it and bring it back towards your chest. Now this is something you can even wrap around like a balcony or like a chair or something at home that's sturdy and you can wrap it around and just pull it towards you. There's so many different hundreds of ways that you can do this. You do not have to limit yourself at all. Beautiful job. Next we're gonna go into is dips. So I'll put a little resistance onto my feet as I'm just going to, um, again, you can do this on the back of a chair, a couch, uh, your bed, or you can just do it down the ground like I'm doing, either one. We're just going to lower and lift, lower and lift. Beautiful work. All right, next, um, just to give our arms a little bit of a break before we go into uh, increasing our weight, we're just now gonna do a rocking plank. Now, if you're a beginner and you'd like to just do this on your knees, you're just gonna rock like this. You will definitely be working your core and into your arms, and it'll be a little bit more modified for those people that are not able to jump up on those wrists or things like that. So either one works, and here's the advanced version. You're just gonna rock back and forth. Good. Keep that tummy nice and strong. You do not want to feel this in your lower back. If you start to feel it in your lower back, lift your hips up a little bit higher and just try to squeeze that belly button towards the spine. Beautiful job. All right, shake it out. Let's go ahead and now increase our weights, doing the exact same thing. First one, low row, I take my palms and I face them away from me. So I'm just gonna hinge over, have a nice good flat back and just bring my elbows back towards the back wall. And you're just focusing on bringing the weights towards your hips. You'll notice that my weights are really nice and close to my body. I've found that 
the best way to really get good form is to kind of pretend that you're a robot. <laughs> Try to take any squiggly motions or like, you know, swinging motions out of it and just be very robotic and you'll find that your form will be the best. Next one is gonna be our overhead tricep extensions. Here we go. Some work. Next one, we're going to go into those high rows. So to get a to get a high row in some weights, what we're going to do is the same like the first exercise that we did. We're going to have a nice, good flat back. Except now my palms are facing towards me, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open it up, squeeze it to my chest, and bring it back down. I'm trying to aim just right underneath my armpits with the weight. Okay, here we go. Great work. And then of course, let's go ahead and go into those dips. Now to add a little bit heavier, you can add two or one of these. Surprisingly, this just burns my triceps so much. Now remember, again, we're very robotic. The only thing that's moving is just your elbows, nothing else. Your elbows are facing behind you, so they're going back and forth. Your fingertips are facing you. And if you're feeling a burn through those back of the arms, then you're doing it right. Ouch! Oh, a few more in that burn. Oh my gosh. Ooh. You can tell my weakest spot is my arms for sure. Okay, now let's go ahead and now we have time. Let's go ahead and try to do a third round using our barbells, but let's go ahead and go back into our rocking plank. Again, modification, you can be on your knees and it looked like this. Awesome work. All right, so now we're gonna do the final round with our barbells. Again, you can always stick with the resistance bands or the dumbbells. I just wanna show you that you can use it for, you can use it for everything. Of course, a little heavier weight. Now, the more weight we lift, as long as we have the right form, you're gonna start to see quicker results. And that is because you're burning, you're gonna be burning fat faster by building that lean muscle getting that more toned physique. Okay, so low rows. Again, my palms are facing away from me, grabbing onto that bar about a little, about shoulder distance apart, squeezing that bar up towards my back, and you can see that the bar is going right towards my hips. Here we go. Oh, I love that burn. Nothing's better. Okay, next one, overhead tricep extension. Let me show you how I like this one. If I were to do overhead tricep extension with a barbell. Awesome, here we go.
and that one kicked my butt. Definitely make sure that you progress slowly with weights um, as I've been working out for a really long time. I love that burn. Okay, next one is our high rows. So I'm gonna hold my bar pretty nice and wide as you can see here. And I'm just gonna hinge over and just draw that bar towards my chest. My elbows are out in a T position. Holy cow, who said 10 minutes couldn't kick your butt? All right, and last one, tricep dips. I'm placing a 15 pound black weight on my hips. Here we go. Can you do 20 more? Yes, you can. One, two. Halfway, 10 more. Okay, I'm literally shaking. I'm literally shaking. Oh, it feels so good. All right, nice little stretch. And you are done. So big inhale. Gratitude for your body and whatever you were able to lift. Grab one arm and just pull it over to the other side. Good, as you stay twisted, now just turn. That hand goes to the opposite knee and you look behind. Good, inhale, reach it up. Exhale, other arm pulls. Good, drop it down and twist. Right, triceps is a great one. We do it all the time. Take the elbow, press it down towards the spine. Big inhale. And then just lean over the opposite direction. And then what I like to do is circle it around and lean forward. Come back around the other way. Good, and then the other arm. Keep breathing. Lean over to the other side. Circle it around. Beautiful, interlace those fingers, place it onto the back of the head, and just arch and look up. And then take those hands, wrap them around yourself, and just appreciate this moment for your body and what you have as we embrace ourselves, as we step into our best selves with each other. So thank you again for joining, and I'll see you in the next workout. Let me show you the secret on how you can cut fat and keep your curves. Did you know that when you're losing weight, you're actually losing three things, water, fat, 
and muscle. And losing your muscle, that's like losing your metabolism. Skipping meals and dieting can actually lower your resting metabolism up to 20% a day. The secret is lifting weights and maintaining your muscle will actually speed your metabolism up. The Booty Bands and Barbells program is designed to build lean muscle that will cut the fat and keep your curves. Put yourself first, act now, you feeling great and your new transformation can start today.